What's up beauties and welcome to today's video. My name is Manders. If you've been here before, welcome back. And if it's your first time, welcome. We do a lot of mu we do a lot of makeup related videos, some unboxings, some honest reviews, and I usually drop things. So if that's what you're interested in, make sure you do subscribe to my channel and make sure you ring that notification bell and give this video a big thumbs up. Today we are just going to play with some makeup. I'm doing an inspired eye look based on a color. So I've decided today I want to do a blue smoky eye. So in order to achieve this, I am going to use my James Charles palette and we're just going to go for it. I haven't sat down and done just a featured eye look in a little while, except for yesterday, of course. Um, but for the most part, I just really wanted to sit down today and play with some freaking makeup. I'm looking at my table because I lost what I was looking using. Hmm. How does a person lose their stuff as often as me? No clue. What am I looking for? I know what I'm looking for, but I can't see it. So what I am going to do is I'll just use this brush instead. So I'm going to prime my eyes using this from the bomb. Priming is everything. So this is the neutral eyeshadow primer. I didn't love this when I first tried it. However, it's kind of dried down. So, and I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna use it with a brush today and see how it lays down on my eyes. So I'm just gonna tap that all over my eyelids, just like that. Oh, and that actually, so when I first received this eyeshadow primer, I'm not gonna lie, it was so slippery that it literally did nothing for my eyeshadow. But because I've let it dry down a little bit, I'm kind of excited because it has a little bit more consistency, kind of like my MAC Paint Pot. So just going in, layering my brush really nicely, and I'm gonna pat that all over my lid. That's not bad actually. It's not, it doesn't have that slippery feeling like it did before. So maybe if you have this eyeshadow primer, you just have to wait it out for like a month and a half like I did. I did receive it in a tried beauty box, I believe. I think that's what I got it in. So now I'm going to take a clean brush and I'm just going to set that eyeshadow base using the James Charles palette, using like the matte cream color just want to set it a little bit with some powder before we go in with color now when you are doing a creative colorful eyeshadow look I do suggest use an eyeshadow base because it will stain the frig out of your eyelids sometimes not always but somewhat and I do know that this palette has in the past stained my eyelids so going with that being said we're gonna use the eyeshadow base this, clean, this brush is clean, but it is stained. This is my Moda Pro. This is the shader brush. I love the shape of this. It gets in here so nicely. So we're just gonna dip in two. This is me being a professional YouTuber. We're gonna go in with this shade first. Oh, and disclaimer, this is attempt two. I actually did part of this eye and then washed it off. I was like, nope, I don't like that at all. So now we're going in and we're gonna do it right. So there is some fallout from this palette, so I'm just gonna be really careful. And this is how I like to work with color the most. I like to just tap it in. Just like that. Not bad. And we're just gonna keep going in and we're gonna, I'm gonna keep building that color up until I achieve what I'm going for. Now, I always say take your time, especially when using bold colors like this because there is just, oh, it is so possible to get carried away and create something a little on the crazier side that you maybe didn't want. So I'm just going in, I'm taking my time, I'm blending back and forth through the crease, above the crease, all over the lid. I'm not worried about where the shadow is sitting on my lid right now. I just want to make sure that I get that color. So I hope you guys are having an awesome time. It's winter here. Like super winter. That's why I want to do blue. I wanted to do a blue look for this. 
because I do live in Southern Ontario and it is, it feels like January right now. Let me know in the comments below if you like snow and if you've seen snow because I have met people who have never seen snow and to me that's like, now I know people who haven't seen snow. I, I have a lot of friends, we have a lot of friends and family in the Bahamas and so a lot of people that live on islands, for example, they don't travel a lot necessarily and so like we have a friend our friend Jimbo he has been to Canada twice now but he has most definitely not seen snow here I think he's seen snow somewhere else but not in Canada and then I know that our other friend from the Bahamas Donnie he's never seen snow and it, whenever we talk to them about coming to, whenever we talk to Donnie about coming to Canada he's always like no it's cold there we're like but it's not cold where we live all the time except for right now this is weird for us. We don't usually have snow like to this extent in November. It's not going anywhere. It's staying here, which is bizarre. Um, go away. It also, the other thing is too, like we are, um, ski, like we have a lot of ski hills around here. They're all open. They're never open in November. Like my niece works at one and she was like, yeah, I'm working this weekend. I want to go snowboarding. And would you guys like to see a video of me snowboarding? Because it's probably really funny. Because I'm not very good at it. So I'm going in. I'm just going to fix this up still. I'm just going to like put it all over my lid because I do have an idea. I know what I'm doing. No, I don't. I have no idea what I'm doing. I didn't really even think about this before I sat down. But I thought, you know, it's Sunday morning. I'm cooking black beans, don't ask. Um, and then I'm gonna be cooking some chickpeas. And yeah, and I'm putting it all over my lid too. I have an idea, there's a reason why I'm doing this. I don't always put it all over my lid, but sometimes it makes it easier. So we're just gonna go for it. I'm gonna take a clean brush. Actually, I'm gonna take that same brush that I used that beige shade for, and I'm gonna just take it, and I'm gonna just blend around the edges ever so slightly just to make sure that it's all nice and airbrush looking. We just want a good blend. Light hand, you're doing this, you don't wanna, you don't need to go in too much. Just wanna make sure everything's blended together. Now I'm gonna use the same brush and I'm gonna go in with the lighter blue and I'm gonna take that around the edges now. Not a lot, just a little bit. And I want to blend those two colors together. You see that? Very pretty. I hear movement. I hear Patrick's awake. Now you can use like, okay, so this is the other thing too. This is not the necessarily the right brush, but for me, I find that this brush, like this type of brush works really well for me to do this. And then I do things like that where, you know, why'd I do that? Come on, Amanda. Come on. Easy. Buff it out. Buff it out. Fix it. Just like that. Hmm. I need to go back in with that original blue on this side because it's not sticking as well as I thought it would. It's, it's, can you see this eye is a lot more vibrant than that one? Going in with that original blue shade just to kind of deepen it up. Make sure everything's there. I'm going to take a different brush. A nice little small blending brush. I'm going to use this one to put that lighter shade. bit more focused. All right, taking that same brush, I'm going to go with the dark blue shade now. So this is a little bit more on the, on the navy side. And so I just want to add a little bit more dark dimension in the outer corner, just like that. Now I'm just going to lay that down right there. Nothing too crazy. It's funny because this blue is almost the same shade as the first one I used. So now we're going to go in and we're going to do something that I've just been loving lately. We're going in with black. So 
we're just going to take a little bit of black and I'm going to keep it I'm going to push it right here and just focus it on the outer corner just to give a lot more like a little I just I don't know what it is but black eyeshadow this week and last week I'm just like yes I'm going to just keep using black eyeshadow for everything it is seriously like my go-to shade. I want to use it with every look that I have. And I'm like, oh. And this palette, like this is a really good palette for color selection, obviously. But also just like a really good palette for some darn good shadows. I'm always a lot better at doing this eye than this one. So let's go over here now and see how terrible it is. Show me. I also have old people eyelids. That's what I like to call them. Not bad, let's see. Now we're going to take that just a little bit farther in. All right, I think that's even. So now I'm going to go in. We're going to take the same brush that I just used for the crease. And I'm going to go in with this. icy blue shade right here and I'm gonna put that all over where I put the concealer originally So there we have my eye look. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to do, actually no, we're just gonna get right into all that. I'm not even gonna bother going off camera. I'm going to do a full get ready with me um, after I've now done this. This is like freaking nuts though. Like I'm really excited about this, but oh, I'm really proud of this look actually. Not too much fallout. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so for primer, I'm going to use this Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. Um, it's a sample size. I need to use up what I have. That's probably way too much, but that's cool. We're doing it anyways. We're just gonna rub it all in. It's very like soft and like feels like silk on your skin. I actually really enjoy the way that this feels. I have used it a few times before no real complaints my face just feels so soft right now mm, so soft so soft so let's get some foundation going if you guys are new here and you didn't know this i love microfiber cloths for cleaning makeup off best thing i'll ever use give it a try let me know in the comments below if you've ever tried it before that's why I like those makeup eraser cloths are so like everybody loves them because they really do work so I'm going in with a shot masse sponge here that's way too much foundation I put on my hand um, and I'm going to just pat this all in this is my Moki blender sponge it's a little bit it's got like the flat end oh too much I love using Shot Masse sponges to apply my makeup. This is my favorite. I am using my Maybelline Fit Me foundation. It's my favorite foundation in the whole world. 
So it's funny because I just actually finished upload. I uploaded my James Charles casting call video because I filmed it, then I edited it, and then I realized I wasn't eligible because I live in Canada. But I thought, you know what? Screw it. I'm putting it up anyways. So I did. And I was just really happy with the way that it turned out. Like I was like, oh, I'm just happy. I'm proud of myself. I was doing, I was doing pretty good and I was happy with the look. Like I loved the look I came up with. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go for it anyways. All right. Oh, I love this eyeshadow look too. I'm really excited about doing like different colored smoky eyes because it's going to be a trend. I'm going to do a purple one. No, I did a purple one already. I want to do a pink one. I want to do an orange one. I want to do a red one. I want to do a green one. I've just got so many ideas for smoky eyes. So that makes me really happy. So I'm going to take the same sponge that I used to apply my makeup. And I'm going to take some powder. And I'm going to use my, this is my, um, my Becca Hydra Mist Powder. The lid broke. So I like to take it like this sometimes, just on a sponge. And I like to just set my my face very very fine mist I don't want to use too no <laughs> fine mist fine powder I don't want to use too much of it but I just want to set everything in place so that I don't have any issues later cool beans Tetica. it's just a nice fan brush we're just gonna see how it applies bad hmm. I don't know how much I love that but I'm gonna use this Luxie brush to apply and see if I like it better oh yeah that's what I want all right so we are highlighted we are blushed we are bronzed now we just need to do my brows. I had two brow pencils in front of me this morning. Let's see if I lost them completely. Probably. Found them. So this is my by Rodeo. This is the Glamo Brow. I really like this one, actually. I like, really like it. I feel like this makeup look is just ridiculous for what I'm going to do today which is laundry and possibly go to the grocery store. However, I always get a lot of like compliments when I go to the grocery store and have like a crazy eyeshadow look. People are like, I really like your eyeshadow today. And I'm like secretly thinking in the back of my head, I'm like, yeah, you guys all think I'm nuts. But the best part is that I can go to work like this and nobody bats an eye because they're like, oh yeah. She's here now. She's she's just doing her thing. She's got her eye makeup on and she's a little crazy. I'm just kidding. I don't know if they call me crazy, but they're just used to it by now. All right. Now, I have been having super chapped lips, so I'm not even going there right now. Like, it's not happening. I'm not putting anything on except for maybe a bomb later, and I don't have one in front of me. So I'm going to curl my eyelashes very quickly using this dollar store eyelash curler that I have. Because this came from the dollar store. Cost me a freaking dollar, man. Just a dollar. Where's my mascara? Why can't I find things today? Why am I so... Like, seriously. I think that's about four times I've lost something today. I'm impressed with myself. I found my mascara, though. I want to use this Lancome one. I like this one a lot. I got this from Top Box. It was sent to me for free for review. I've got to say, hands down, favorite mascara right now. And you'll see why. Just such, it just coats my lashes so easily. Gives them length and volume and makes me really freaking happy. See that? Yeah. Good mascara. Thank you, Top Box. Thank you, Lancome, for making a great mascara. Thank you for sending it to me to try so that I could now tell you guys 
it's pretty darn good. A little on the pricey side, but I'd have to say if I was going to go for um, a higher end one, for example, I do have the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, and I would, per I would buy this one again before I bought that one again. Does that make sense? I just like this one better. <laughs> and that is my final look for my blue smoky eye. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you wanna see more tips of videos like this, or if you don't, if you're like, nope, Amanda, stop it. And please share this video too. We are getting really close to the thousand subscriber mark, and when that happens, we will do a giveaway. I don't know what it'll be. Um, I'm super excited though, so thank you guys so much. Make sure if you haven't already, you are subscribed to my channel. I appreciate every single one of you who watches my videos. You guys are awesome. I cannot thank you enough. I absolutely love you guys so thank you so much for hanging out with me while I ramble and do my makeup. I will see you guys in my next video. I cannot wait and I will talk to you guys soon. Mwah.